Hi friends. Uh, so I just wanted to get on and check in here. I want to make sure that I share the days that I'm, I'm struggling and not doing so well, the, the low days as well as the highs. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well uh, since the accident last January of 2021 when I was hit in a head-on collision by a drunk driver on the freeway. Um, I've been struggling with, um, well, I got a brain injury, and since then, I've been struggling with thyroid fluctuations, like very extreme thyroid fluctuations. And so right now, my TSH levels are barely detectable, and so um, a lot of like hyperthyroid symptoms. And uh, so not sleeping well at night, um, but I also have a rupture balance small intestine. So we're not sure if it's like the gut injury, which I have to have surgery on, and um, they're not doing elective surgeries right now due to the COVID spike. So we're on hold, but um, I won't gross you out with all the symptoms. Um, but it's a challenge, and um, I'm really finding that um, I was always used to losing weight very quickly and getting in shape very quickly. Like I could walk by a set of dumbbells and get ripped, <laughs> you know, and smell metal and get pumped, you know. Um, but I'm really having to dig deeper and conditioning the other muscles in my life of self-acceptance, um, self-care, self-love, um, embracing my body where it's at and the two hardest lessons I'm always learning over and over is patience and humility you know and it's when you're dealing with hormones and trying to reach certain goals it, it really adds another few layers of challenges to your process um, so I just wanted to say that if you're out there and you're struggling with not losing the weight or, or reaching your goals in the time frame that you want to, you're not alone. And um, it's a process, you know. I'd rather have a healthy lifestyle um, than be uncomfortable. I, I know that, you know, I come in here to the gym just to see people who are motivated, just to suit up and show up, you know, and. Um, I'll do, you know, 20, 30 minutes on the, on the bike or the treadmill. Um, I've been cleared by my foot surgeon that I can wear boots or, or like really stiff shoes instead of my walking cast. So I look like some sort of like pirate soldier or whatever in big sweat. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, I'll do 30 minutes of, of walking and breaking a sweat and helping things move along, especially with like hormone stuff. It helps the lymphatic system to drain, you know, and, and helps everything kind of process along a little better. You're assisting your body and everything it's trying to do. Um, and then I do really deep, like mindful stretching. And um, I've had so much guarding from the accident, like guarding of, um, like chronic tension, soft tissue just like locking up all around my spine and stuff. I had four broken ribs, a broken sternum, broken wrist. My face kind <laughs> of shattered eye socket. Uh, you know, that's another thing I wanted to talk about on here is um, a lot of people have asked me about the eye patch. And so I wanted to share that I wear the eye patch um, because my iris will get dilated and stay big and take in too much light. Um, I don't wear the eye patch in dimmer, like softer light, like inside. Um, I have a salt lamp in my room and so that light doesn't bother me so I don't wear the eye patch there but um, especially um, with a brain injury, eye injury, all that in a place where there's a lot of movement, a lot of people, a lot of commotion. Um, and a lot of light, uh, I wear the eye patch to um, 
preserve myself from having a migraine. I usually have a dull migraine every single day, 24 seven, but it can turn into something that's excruciating and debilitating and I don't like to go there. So um, I just wanted to share what's going on and I'm having a harder time with um, speech today. Um, I think that's just because I'm tired and you know, with brain injury, it, my processing has a drag and so um, bear with me if I'm stumbling over my words, but I, I really just want to encourage anybody who's out there and, you know, struggling, trying to reach the goals and not getting there in the time frame that you would hope. Me too. And um, just know that you'll get there. You'll get there. Just keep going. Little by little, chip away at it. It's all coming. Um, but for me, I'm really having to make peace with my body and um, have a better relationship with my body and not be so hard on it. So um, I support you. Let's go. Let's keep doing it. And um, like I said, it's all coming. All right. Signing out. <laughs>